Hello everyone. In this video, we will learn how to pass command line arguments to main method in NetBeans. Very first, let us write a Java program to print the command line arguments. So here, one program is shown to you in which one demo class is created and demo class is a main class over here just because main method is defined in it. Now in the main method, we will write the program so that we can print the command line arguments here as we know that command line arguments are passed to the main method in Java here in the main method there is a parameter of uh, a string array type its name given is args over here so the command line argument that we will provide will be stored in this args array and suppose we want to pass the two command line arguments so the first command line argument will go to the zero index of this args array and the second command line argument will go to the one index of this args variable so to print the value 8 args 0 we will write system dot 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 println statement for that purpose I am writing here s out then tab is pressed now in the println method let us write args 0 then one more system dot out dot println statement should be written so I am writing s out then tab is pressed and then in the println method I am typing args 1 so here in this demo class in the main method we have written the code to print the args 0 value and args 1 value means first command line argument value and second command line argument value now we will see how to pass the command line arguments since this demo class is created in my code project so first we need to right click on the my code project when we right click on the my code project the project in which class is created so one window is shown over here in this window we have to select the properties option here the properties option is shown at the very last now you click on the properties option when the properties option is clicked one window is shown to us that window is project properties window in this project properties window one categories option is shown in this categories we have to select the run I would like to repeat here from the categories we have to select the run after selecting the run here there is a option in which we need to select the main class you can see over here main class when the main class is written just after main class one text field is shown in this text field we must write the main class in which command line argument code is written so in case that class is not selected over here so to select the main class you click the browse button when you click the browse button one window is shown to us in this window all the classes will be shown here from this classes you select the class in which you want to receive a command line arguments so we want to receive the command line argument in demo class so demo class is selected now click the select main class button here when you click on the select main class button that particular class will be shown over here so here the main class is selected that is p1.demo now we need to give the command line arguments to give the command line arguments you have to write down command line arguments in this arguments text field look here arguments is written just after it one text field is shown in this text field you can provide the command line arguments since we are receiving the two command line arguments in our program so here you provide the two command line arguments and I am writing the two command line argument first is RAM then space after space you give the second command line argument that I am giving Kumar after giving the command line arguments you click on the OK button then after clicking the OK button the window will disappear now we would like to run this program and to run this program please remember don't run the file or don't use the shortcut shift F6 instead you should click on the, uh, this run button or you can press the F6 only ok so I am clicking on the run button when I click on the run button program will run and the command line argument given by us will be shown to this output window so in this way we can pass the command line argument in the NetBeans 
now suppose you want to read the command line arguments with space means at the zero index i want to read ram kumar means ram space kumar and then at one index i want to read a uh, let us say shiv kumar means shiv space kumar for that purpose again you right click on the project window after right click select the properties from the properties categories option is shown from the categories select the run in the run make sure that the main class is the same main class in which you are receiving the command line arguments if it is not selected then you can click on the browse button after clicking the browse button you have to select the class name in which you want to receive the command line argument so the main class in which you want to receive the command line argument will be shown over here then in the argument as we decided that we want to read the command line argument with space means at the zero index we want ram space kumar and at one index we want to accept shiv space kumar for that purpose the command line argument should be written in this way first in the double quote you write ram space kumar then after double quote give one space and then after space again in the double quote you write shiv kumar and then double quote is closed since here in the first double quote ram space kumar is given after this space is written and then after space in the double quote shiv space kumar is written so when the command line arguments are taken in the main method ram kumar will be accepted at zero index and shiv kumar will be accepted at one index so now click the okay button after clicking okay button you run the program by clicking this run button so when you click the run button in the output window you can see ram space kumar and shiv space kumar in this way we learn here that how to provide the command line argument in the netbeans thanks for watching this video